the January transfer window is upon us. And I didn't think I'd be having to make this decision in the first season of my career. I would love to be staying at this club, but that's only if I'm playing. And I'm really not right now. We're coming off the bench for some reason. The manager thinks we're a bench player. We haven't earned our spot yet when we've been banging in goals, passing the ball really, really well, getting great match ratings, completing objectives. The manager still says no. You're off the bench. I'm one of the top wonder kids. I know that I could probably be moving to a bigger club and I would be playing, but no. Continuing to come off the bench has me here late night at the pitch thinking that this could be my last month here. So I'm trying to soak it all in and just have some time alone to think about what decision is going to be best for me. Not my, my manager or my teammates. What is the decision that is going to best suit Dylan Davenport? And I still don't know what that answer is. Until I find that answer, we got to play this next month as if we are leaving. And that other clubs are watching, so we need to impress. So let's get into this first game. It scores some freaking goals, boys. Here we go. I'm calling for the ball. I'm waiting to get it at my feet to do some skill, take a shot, but I just won't get the ball past me. But Danny Omo will, and he will bang it in, man. Oh, my God. I'm sat there spamming A. Call for pass. Call for pass. Call for pass. Nothing. Nothing coming my way, but then Danny Almo does this, and fair play. That is an absolute banging goal. Our chance would come, though. Great through ball played in. Skill move. Finesse shot on the weak foot, and the keeper just wasn't expecting it, honestly. Look at this, man. On my left, on my weak foot, even though I think we are already at five-star weak foot. Still, it doesn't matter. What a banging goal, man. Keeper not expecting it. He smashed it through. 3-0 off the bench. A really good performance in just the what? Like 10 minutes I was on the pitch? You can't really complain about that right there. Some good work put in. More performances like that will lead to bigger clubs offering me like our first right here. Leicester City. And it's what I'm considering because the Premier League's the league that I want. But in deciding whether to like leave the club or not, there's one factor that I really just wasn't considering at all. Obviously, myself, my happiness, my teammates, my manager. What am I leaving out? Well, it's the fans. And I'm leaving the stadium always. There, there's fans cheering your name, man. They want autographs. They want pictures. But today was a bit different. And there was one man who I started chatting with who was a fan of the club. And he said, yo, Dylan, bro, my son is a massive fan. And he is going to be absolutely devastated if you leave the club. Like, please, man, give the, give the team a shot for at least the end of the season. And I didn't really realize I was... I was that loved here in this city, man. They really do. The fans really do love me, and it's given me it's given me something else to think about in choosing whether to leave or stay. Again, I am fully down to commit to stay as long as we are playing, man. I want to start, but we keep coming off the bench. Oh, my God, man. It's so annoying. Here we go again. It's just so tough. Like, we get Groot from the Champions League because you're not starting me. We're down to Wolfsburg right now. I feel like there's no reason not to start me. It, it is what it is, though, and we're off the bench, so we got to keep making big performances and big impacts. But this one just wasn't happening, man. For some reason, Wolfsburg was just so dominating in this one. Our chances would come, but... Yeah, we just weren't taking them, were we, man? Blocked shots here and there in 1-0. An unlucky performance. Another L. We remain second in the Bundesliga. That one, though, definitely going to set me back. The night of transfer under deadline day. I got a decision to make with my agent. We were up, believe me, all night, man. All night discussing this move. Whether I want to stay, whether I want to leave, what is going to be best for my future, my career. Leicester City is the one offer on the table. There were a bunch of others, but it was the best one, and it was the one that I felt would be a good match. So do we go to the Premier League now? Do we wait? We talked forever, man. Dude, literally just going through every possibility. The ups, the downs, the negatives, the positives. And there were just, well, quite frankly, way more negatives than positives. I did like Leicester, and it is a club I could see myself going to in the future. But as for now, one full season at a club, especially if I keep performing, will just raise my transfer value, and even my agent agreed. If I can keep performing, I'll be starting at Leipzig in no time, and the next offers we get will be even bigger than Leicester. So we did what we should, rejected, and there goes deadline day. 
We're remaining at Leipzig for at least the rest of the season. Off the bench yet again, but hopefully this will be my last. Because I'm ready to make a big impact in this game right here. You know, we have been struggling in the Bundesliga. We're out of the Champions League, but we have been doing really, really well in the League Cup. Quarterfinals against Dortmund. This is the one that I'd really like to win. It's going to be hard to catch Bayern. We do have Europa League still, which is going to be good. But I feel like this is the one I really, really want. And we want it so badly, bro. Look at all those misses. Extra time will come against Mauricio Dortmund. And in extra time, through ball played in. Look at the passing, boys. Will it go in? Yes, it will, boys. 1-0. Leipzig, is that a game winner? 99th minutes. We get the assist, and we do it here on the road in Dortmund territory. Oh, my goodness, bro. Let's go. The counterattack of dreams. You love to see the celebration, and you love to see a big fat W next to your name. It is complete. We are on to the semifinals, man. Baye scores it 99 minutes. There it is. The end of the match for that assist, and we're so close. Coming a starter, boys. So close. So freaky close. We'll be starting in no time, man. I'm chilling, walking down the street on the phone for hours. I've been trying to reach my parents. You guys know they're back in California, man, and they're just still busy as ever, man. Running their businesses, companies, never enough time for me. It's always been like that, and I guess it'll never end. Even though I'm over here playing while I'm a pro footballer now, I still can't make time for me. I just want to talk to them and tell them how I'm doing, man. I just want to make them proud, but for now, I got to focus on myself. And we're in the starting 11. Yes, that is right. The manager has finally come to his senses. And he's like, oh, whoa, Dylan, da oh, yeah, no, this kid's good. No, this kid is one of the best wonder kids in the world. So we are here. We are in. And who are we in against? None other than Bayern Munich. Here we go, boys. Let's make an impact. We got to keep performing when we're in the starting 11. So then we stay in the starting 11. But if Bayern Munich does this, we're going to be taking yet another L to them. I actually think last episode we drew to them in the first game that we played against them. So let's hope today we can walk away with a win. Robert Lewandowski, though, will be trying to say otherwise. He scores this one. Banger in the box. Easy finish. One nail, but we're coming back, boys. Look at the score. It's, oh, my goodness, the volley. And then take a seat because, boys, we're about to score something special. Let's go, that crossbar down finish. My God, that's mad. That is absolutely madness. Some of these goals we've scored in this series thus far, man. It's only been two episodes. And we got, I mean, just bangers. That's it, every episode, man, bangers. And so does Bayern Munich, though. But hey, I will say that my player this year is very easy to grow. It's very easy to upgrade the stats that you want to grow. We already have five-star weak foot. We have already 90 finishing, 90 pace. So, yo, we're going to be maxed out in overall by, like, the fourth episode at this rate. Bayern Munich. Ah, that's going to be a GG, man. And that one's a bit unfortunate. It is, man. Back in the starting 11, we're scoring bangers, but it is Bayern Munich at the end of the day. And you can't really... You can't really beat Bayern Munich when they're just having their day, can you? Lewa with two. Sabitzer gets one in the 89th minutes. And we're walking away with that fat L, boys. That absolute em enormous. Em I was about to say among us. Enormous L, bro. It's huge. That's just all I'm trying to say. 3-1. Hopefully, though, we're still in the starting 11, which we are. Thank the Lord. Man, it's been rough. I... I'm having some regrets about not leaving, man. It's my birthday here in Germany, and I'm celebrating by myself, man. Still really haven't been able to make too many friends, and uh, I've just been a little bit depressed. I'm not going to lie, man. Headed out to the bar, some drinks by myself. One led to another, man, and it's hit me, bro. It's hit me, man. Living by myself like this is just brutal. I've tried to make some friends here, but it is just, it's been so tough. And these drinks are, they're getting to me, man. It's, it's just what I got to do. Sort of drink the pain away, man. Spending my birthday by myself and got to get up bright and early the next morning because we got games to play here 
in the Europa League. We've made it safe and sound past the preliminary rounds and into the round of six, round of 16, round of 32, I believe, against the West Ham United. We can't win the Champions League. We get grouped. It's all right. We had a tough one. Let's do it in the Europa League or not as West Ham scores. Okay, right. This is going to be difficult, isn't it? Oh, are the Frenchman scores it? I'm still, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit tipsy from the night before, man. I'm a little slow out here. I'm a little sluggish, but I can still do this. <laughs> Banger after banger after banger after banger. That's all we do, man. Nutmeg finesse. Dude, you just shoot a finesse shot in this game and it goes in. It's literally like, it's that easy almost. Um, West Ham, though, are making it easy for them. Or our defense is making it easy for them as they're just getting these sweaty goals. I don't even know what to say, man. We would get another one, bro. Another crossbar down and the home leg finishes. 2-2, yes, goal line technology gives the goal. Everything is good. 2-2 in -two leg one, on to leg two. Let's just get this done. London Stadium, is, is this it? Is this? No, it's not my first game. I was going to say my first game in England. We've already played Man City. West Ham, ah, oh, they go up 2-3 on aggregate. 3-2 on aggregate, I should say. And we need this one, bro. I don't want to get knocked out of both these competitions. Ah. <sighs> It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Another one. Grasso 4-2. We got a comeback on our hands. Hopefully. We're praying for it, man. Going for it on the finesse again, bro. It's broken. This game is broken. 2-1 in this one. 4-3 on aggregate. That would be how it would end, man. Unfortunately, after all that hard work, the banging goals that we scored, it leads to nothing. The good news I'm still in the starting 11. The manager has pretty much told me at this rate, you're in, bro. We're trusting you the rest of the year out, so that's good. The sniper archetyped, man. We are equipping. It's going to put us up to 81 overall. Our shooting and pace stats are just out of this world, man. It's absolutely mental. And leaving London Stadium, man. None other than the West Ham manager was waiting outside the visitor training room. Waiting for me, of all people. And he said he loved my performance, man. He was he was very impressed, as are a lot of clubs at this point. And I've been getting this a lot after leaving games, that managers, players saying that they'd love me to play for them or with them. And West Ham was no different. An offer from them had come in. So it is another decision we'll have to make, man. We are going to have a lot of options at the end of next season, different clubs to move to. Obviously, I told him I couldn't commit to anything right now, but... It's good to see. We got a lot of options on the table. And it's time to, to get cheered up a little bit, man, because we got a big one coming up. Not against the massive team, but we're on the Bundesliga game of the week. So they got us showcase rocking into the stadium, rolling in, and we need to impress, man. A lot of people watching this one. Going to be televised in the U.S. as well. So I got people watching back at home, man. I know a lot of the U.S. international fans are hoping that I get the call up soon. Especially with the World Cup coming up very soon. Look at this, man. Oh, my goodness. What a start this could have been. Holy crap. Frankfurt. Oh, my goodness, bro. Bicycle kick. Like, squirt. I didn't even... Bro, that was insane, man. Holy my goodness. Great save, though. You guys already know. Goalkeepers this year are cracked. So, it's tough to score, especially on, on shots like that. But shots like this, oh, yeah, you can score every single one. A sweaty goal, man. Oh, my goodness. That's too easy, bro. It's too easy. And it's just ugly, man. It's just ugly to score goals like that. I haven't been doing that this year. We've only been scoring bangers. This one, eh, not really sweaty. Just played the extra pass. Boom, goes in. I Kind of sweaty, I guess. But I wanted to get the assist, man. We've been scoring a lot today. You know what? I've actually been assisting a fair amount too, man. We're doing it all. It's why the manager's now playing us every game. He's finally coming to his senses. How has that gone in, though? Are you kidding me, man? 60, around the 60th minute. Like, how has the keeper not saved that? I'll never understand it. Another opportunity for us, bro. Look at this. Tackled, but our teammates are going to stay on it. And boys, are going to find us for another 2-2 equalizer. Great game. Great episode in terms of goals and assists. Rating going up team's taking interest it's all looking good it's all looking good man everything on the up and up or is it although i've been playing well man 
this sort of loneliness, depression I've been having lately has been leading me down a dark path of a lot of drinking that I'm not, I'm not proud to tell you guys. Some nights I'm just walking home 2, 3 a.m. And one night in particular, man, I'd had way too many. These guys called me over and they obviously recognized me. They obviously knew who I was. They knew that I wasn't in a good state of mind right now. And they handed me a few pills and said, yo, take these. So I did, bro. I had no idea what I was doing, who these men were, what they had given me. But I, I just, I wasn't conscious. And I had no idea what I was doing. So I took them and just like that, man, everything faded to black.